Hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk about everything that we are in and tomorrow in the video we will talk about a specific topic but yeah I'm not feeling that well today to be honest so uh, we're just gonna have a quick one down and um, by the way if you wanna know something about some coins or whatever the hell make sure to join the discord in the description down below you can always talk to me when yeah when you have a problem, whatever the hell, when you feel lonely, always talk to me. Because I'm there most of the times. I'm there. So, just let you know. So, what is the plan? What is what happened? Better to say. So, what happened? We went into Neon. Into Neon Fun. And we got now 10.445 liquidity provided tokens. Staked. And also... 13.72 staked in the normal pool where well, we earned also 0 0.438 and now we're basically going to harvest everything let's go and let's go and then we basically get the Nyan in our wallet and you can see the current price is 2.6 so if I take my sticky notes I can see that most of liquidity I provided were at 3 bucks 86. And as you know, we started off with 1,220 uh, 1, bucks in our wallet. And now we would get 133 bucks. So let's also have a look at Monster Slayer Farm and um, see what we earned also on here. Because that's also a bit, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's also something, yeah, 65. Not too bad at all. So we made, yeah, 200 bucks in, I don't know, in a few hours. So, yeah, it's not too bad at all, I would say. Um, when did we... Mm. So in 9 hours, yeah, 9 hours we made 200 bucks. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. And what I'm going to do is make the rest into Nyan. Mm, so provide liquidity on Nyan with the MSS. Uh, we earned, which gives us Ethereum. And we take it into Ethereum, course. We basically then can see uh, if we add liquidity, yeah, how much we would need it. So in total, 701 Nyan per Ethereum. And one Ethereum is worth 1,800 and some. And we got 169 Nyan. Ah, there we go. 25. So we would have 25 in our balance. So 12.5. Nyan, so we take 12, needs to be swapped to Ethereum as well, now we get a gas fee again, uh, doesn't matter too much, and yeah, as you see, I'm still stuck with the same strategy, um, currently what I'm doing is focusing a bit more on Nyan, as you can see, uh, because we already got a good bag on the Monster Slayer farm, uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop farming Monster Slayer, uh, I'm keep on uh, compounding a bit, but of course you know why I'm not compounding at the moment just because of the price basically so um, Not that the price is too low, but of the returns of the other farms. So if we take this and we divide it oh, my bad, and we d Multiply by 400 no 400 we get 1200 128 and times 2 we have 2,225, so we had minus 1,500 at the beginning at Monster Slayer, so we're still in a profit of 756 bucks, and that's the reason why I keep um, compounding. And wait, I need to provide liquidity on Nyan and Ethereum, right? Yes, Nyan and Ethereum. There we go. No. And Ethereum. No, wait, add liquidity. Nyan and a few. 
max. So yes, that is perfect. We got another 1.3 tokens. Liquidity provider tokens. <coughs> so we know 1.3 is worth how much? 200 bucks. Mm, 200 bucks times 10. Then we got 2k. That can't be. Maybe. 1.38 and we have... I don't know. Maybe we made even more money than I think we did. To be honest, I don't know because I don't really care what the farms are making us for profit because as you know, we normally invest only into stuff, but we farm because, yeah, farms are currently running hot, no? Get profit, so you're not going to say no to uh, providing liquidity. And I did with the one inch token, so I don't even really care at all. Uh, what I'm going to do with the rest of the neon we got um, is basically stake them. And you say, why you stake them? Uh, well, if ever the price of neon rises by a lot, uh, I have neon which I got so or so which is not in any form liquid or farmed because farmed stuff is something i wanna wanna get for free you know so it's hard to explain it's like just compound everything or lose everything you know that's like how i'm doing it of course it's really risky that's why i'm saying don't do it if you're not willing to lose that's I also say in the Discord, don't invest everything you have because uh, if it goes south, you know it goes south and then you are mad. Believe me, because I am mad as well if something exit scams or if something pulls the rock and I can tell you for sure, you know, there might be flaws, there might be hacks in the protocol and that's why I always tell you guys, please, do your own research. I know it sounds stupid, but if you do your own research, you know what you are going into and what it can do, you know. Because if you don't, then yeah, you might get whacked, you know. I'm not saying that uh, you will be getting whacked, no, no, no. It's not like that will happen, no. But there's a chance, if you don't inform yourself about the project you invest into, that it might backfire. You know, and that's not even that I say it in a bad way, you know, but it's simply, yeah, what happens. And if that happens, it's not that cool, you know. And I hope I have enough TRX to do a stupid transaction. No, holy shit, I spent what the heck. Yeah, the Tron network, you know, that's why I like the BNB network. I should have invested way more into it when it was out first, mm, but I didn't. <coughs> because yeah, I was stupid. I'm not a fan of Binance, as you all know, and yes, I know today's video is not that interesting. I'm sorry for that, guys, but yeah. It is what it is. I can't always, yeah. So, let's do it. Uh, that will also give... Please don't send me that transaction went to waste as well. And it went to waste as well. I don't have any liquid yax to, 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 to do a swap and everything. Yeah, well, let's forget about it. Let's have a look at Bao and also at Adele. Mm, because I didn't check Adele and Bao for too long. There we go, the SUSD, and we're still earning great. We are on 3.1 million, and on top of those, 4.1 million, and we still got 6 bucks per day, which is not too shabby at all. And as you can see, I don't got any referrals, so don't say I'm living off referrals. No, this is not what's happening. Uh, let's see, at the mainnet, what's going on? Everything looks good. The vault is live. The new vault. The yearn vault. Makes me proud. Everything goes according to plan, you know? Everything's growing. So, that's pretty much good. So, 40%. So, we get the next amount soon, I guess. Mm. 
I have one from to one with deposited. Uh, they can see the pools. We also can provide liquidity. I have an APY and so on. And yeah, you have your own rewards. You have your Adele. And yeah, basically, still the same as it was, but just more vaults, you know. And also the V1 vaults, which provide what? The yield on the curve, I think. And here you get the yield, okay. Okay, so these don't provide uh, protocol rewards. I understand it, so the stake still does. Yeah, I grind that. Mm -hmm. mm, so, yeah, we could withdraw them and we are in profit with that. So, did we miss anything? No, I don't think so. That was basically the way we don't have a farm that we are in on the theorem. So, yeah, the only thing farm that we are in is bow. And bow for me is not a farm because. I don't touch it, you know, that's like, it will grow in a year, then I'm saying like, oh yeah, I'm thankful that I never touched it and sold it, like most of the stuff that I hold, you know. By the way, thanks for support on the channel, helps me out a lot, uh, really appreciate it, even though I may sound strange, but that's, yeah, has nothing to do with the video, you know, but still, hope you enjoyed, subscribe, leave a like and comment down below.